Now let's talk hydration. If you've got kids, you know the sports season is really kicking into high gear and with them playing outside in this heat, it can be dangerous. Even with adults, whether you're hiking, running or playing pickleball, are you drinking enough water from sports drinks to energy drinks? They can be loaded with sugar and caffeine. So let's talk about what to look for. Joining me now is Dr. Natasha Bouillon of One Medical. It is so great to have you Thank here. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, as a mom of twins, kids playing sports, mm -hmm. this is a real thing and our producer too. Five boys, four of which are in football. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a lot. Right. Okay, so we want to talk about signs of dehydration. We know that there's dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, headache, and dry lips. But what caught my eye was kids not sweating as much and crying without tears. Yeah, yeah, so important for all of us to know the signs of dehydration, especially in Phoenix, especially if you've got active little ones. What we'll see in kids sometimes is they'll cry. They won't have tears if they're dehydrated or they might not sweat as much even though it's hot outside. And that is their body's way of conserving fluids. If you see that, definitely means that they're dehydrated. It's important to understand dehydration because that can lead to heat exhaustion yeah. and that can eventually lead to heat stroke. So what do you do? So you need to get people hydrated. That's the number one thing. Make sure you get them into a cool place. You can apply some cool cloths on them and get them fluids as quickly as you can. Okay, so let's talk about kids and how much water they should be drinking. We know that if you're nine to 12 years old, you should be drinking about 12 to 32 ounces of water an hour for teenagers, 34 to 50 ounces of water per hour. But you also say that you need to prehydrate before exercising and also snack on hydrating foods. So how long should you prehydrate and what are some you know, hydrating foods. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it is actually hard for kids to drink that much water. They don't always remember. So a good rule of thumb I tell some kids is take seven to nine gulps of water every 20 minutes when you're working out, when you're playing. So that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. And then the other thing is make sure we're snacking on hydrating foods all day long. That's strawberries, that's watermelon, mm. it's cucumbers. Kids don't always drink that much. It is important to prehydrate, drink water all day long, or snack on hydrating foods, and not just hydrate when we're exercising. Okay, so when it comes to sports drinks though, mm -hmm. what should we be looking for? Yeah, so sports drinks are kind of all the rage. It's yeah. really important to make sure that we are looking for no sugars, no caffeine, especially in kids. And here's the thing, kids don't actually often need sports drinks. Most kids who do after school sports, they're fine with just drinking water. The really? exception, yeah, and you know, we get all these celebrity endorsements, we right. see them drinking sports there's drinks. there's so many different kinds. Right, yeah. and so you think that kids should all be drinking sports drinks, really only people who are exercising for more than one hour mm -hmm. of vigorous activity. So think a volleyball tournament or a basketball game. Those kids do need their electrolytes replenished, okay. but for other kids, drinking water is just fine. Yeah. Now, the kids who do have those vigorous activities, I actually think the best electrolyte beverages are unsweetened coconut water. Oh. And hear me out on this, low-fat milk. That does have the electrolytes that we need. It is hydrating. There's now, protein. There's protein. Yeah, there's a lot of good right. benefits. Yeah. yeah. And now look, not all kids tolerate that. So if you do reach for an electrolyte-based drink, make sure that it's low in sugar and doesn't have those artificial sweeteners because we don't know that those are safe in kids. Okay, all the rage right now are these energy drinks. We've yeah. heard, you know, Prime has mm -hmm. been in the news a right. lot. Kids don't realize, ooh, there's, yeah. There can be a lot of caffeine in this. Yeah, I have seen Prime all over TikTok and parents have asked me about this. So Prime has two types of drinks. One is an energy drink, and it's important to know that energy drinks are loaded with caffeine. So Prime actually has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it. That is more than two cups of coffee. Whoa, for we, kids. For kids, we do not recommend that in kids. And even the Prime hydrating drink, it's packed with vitamins that kids don't actually need. So it's got vitamin A and vitamin E. And if kids drink that, they might end up having vitamin toxicity. So the bottom line is we tell people stay away from those Prime hydrating drinks drinks and the energy wow. drinks, just not for kids. Okay, oh, that is so good to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my goodness, because I know that, you know, a lot of times when kids are at other people's homes, they've got the drink, they're like, no, it's okay, there's no caffeine, yeah, right. but it's still not a good it's idea. It's still not a good idea, and look, it's it's colorful, it's marketed toward kids, mm -hmm. there's celebrity endorsements, so I understand why kids ask about it, but it's best to stick with water. Great advice, and so much cheaper. It's much cheaper, <laughs> absolutely, that yeah, works too. we yeah. like that. Okay, yeah. Dr. Natasha Bouillon, thank you so much.